how to get, download, install, and use NIMVPN, an anonymous decentralized VPN, DVPN mixnet. In this video tutorial, we'll start off by choosing a NIMVPN plan. Once we've bought a NIMVPN plan, we'll then download and install the NIMVPN client. We will then log into our NIMVPN account and connect to our NIMVPN in two different ways. The first way will involve using NIMVPN's mixnet, and the second method will involve using the WireGuard protocol, which has been modified slightly to Amnesia WG. Each time we connect a NIMVPN using either the mixnet or WireGuard, we'll check our IP address at whatismyipaddress.com. Okay, so let's start the video by choosing a NIMVPN plan. First, open up your browser and now navigate to the following URL address. This URL address is my referral link to NIMVPN. It will give you a big discount on two of the three displayed plans. I'll put my referral link in the video description below. So once you've clicked on my referral link, you'll be taken to the page that says choose your NIMVPN plan. So the most popular plan is the two year plan where you get 25 months. So you get one month extra for free using my referral link. And all the plans are the same in terms of benefits. So you get a fast WireGuard, which is Amnesia WG, which is the modified version of WireGuard. You also get access to the anonymous mixnet so you can connect to that. And at the time of recording of this video, you've got 50 entry and exit locations to choose from. That's a lot of different servers that you can access. Your online activities and payment info are never linked and you can connect up to 10 devices. This is the same for the one month plan and for the one year plan where you get one month extra. So you get a total of 13 months for the one year plan. Now the biggest discount of course is offered to the two year plan. You get an 80% discount with the early bird promotion and you get a slightly smaller discount for the one year plan and you get no discount for the one month plan. So for example, if I was to select the two year plan here by clicking on select plan, you can see the total that you'll pay for this plan, including the discount and the discount applied, of course, is my YouTube channel name, which is Websplaining. Let me just go back here just to show you that it is the same for the one year plan. So if I click on the one year plan here, you can see it's a slightly smaller discount and you can see the discount applied and the total. I'm going to go back again now. Now for this video demonstration, I'm going to be going with the one month plan as I already have an MVPN plan. Now you can select the appropriate plan for you. And once you have, just simply click on select plan. Now I'll need to create a NIMVPN account. To do this, you'll get a NIMVPN 24 word recovery phrase. So this recovery phrase will be used to log into your NIMVPN account. So don't lose it, otherwise you'll lose access to your account and never share it with strangers. So to reveal your recovery phrase, simply click on reveal recovery phrase. And there we go, in this text box here, my 24 word NIMVPN recovery phrase has been generated. So it starts with West and ends with crowd. To copy it, just simply click on the copy button here to copy the recovery phrase. And then what I recommend doing is opening up a notepad or another text document and pasting in the recovery phrase into it and then saving it. So I'm going to click on file and save and I'm going to save it on my desktop here and I'm going to call it NIM VPN. And then I'm going to click on save. So once you've saved your NIM VPN recovery phrase, you'll need to click on this checkbox here, which says I have saved my anonymous access code in a safe place. And then you can click on continue. And then you'll need to confirm you've saved your access code again by clicking on yes, I've saved it. Okay, so now you've created your NIMVPN account. Now what we'll need to do is pay for our plan. You have a number of options here. So you can roll with the Express Checkout, which allows you to pay by Apple Pay, Google Pay, or PayPal. You can go with credit cards if you want. You can go with cryptos, NIM tokens, which is NIMVPN's utility token that powers the VPN's mixnet, or cash, so you can actually mail physical cash to this address. So you can select the appropriate payment method that you would like. I'm going to go with NIM tokens, so I'm going to click on this drop down arrow here, and then as you can see, it says native NIM only, and I'm going to click on OK. And then I'm going to click on new payment session to proceed with paying with NIM tokens. Now what I'll need to do is send this amount of NIM to this payment address. So I'm just going to click on this address here to copy the payment address. I'm going to open up my NIM wallet. I'm going to click on send. Now this will be different for you depending on your payment method. So you don't need to follow this particular payment process. You can skip forward if you want. I'm just going to go through it now quickly. So I'm just going to paste in the recipient address, which is the payment address. I'm going to copy the amount to send. I'm going to paste that in here. And then I need to grab the optional memo, which is not optional in this case. You will need the signature memo. So I'm just going to click on copy signature memo and I'm going to paste that in here. Okay, and now I'm just going to click on next and then I'm going to click on confirm. Okay, I've sent that now. I'm just going to click on done and open back up my browser and wait for my transaction to complete. And there we go, I've paid for my NIM VPN plan. I've got one month of NIM VPN now. Once you've finished paying with your chosen payment method, you'll be greeted with this notification which says, thanks for your purchase. Your plan has been activated 
get ready to use the world's most private VPN. Now, before I download the client, I'm just going to view my account. So I'm going to click on account here. You actually can access your account at the top right hand corner of the browser. Once you've logged in, of course, using NIM VPN's 24 word recovery phrase. So I'm just going to click on this icon here and then you can simply click on my account to access this page. As you can see, my current plan is one month and this is how many days I have left. You can see the device is connected using your account. Underneath account, you've got payments, downloads and support if you encounter any difficulties. So you can click on these to view them if you like. Next, what we're going to do is download the NIMVPN client. To do this, navigate to the top here and hover over download. Look for your operating system and navigate to the page. So at the very top here, you've got NIMVPN for mobile, you've got Android, iOS, and then NIMVPN for desktop. You've got Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. Now I'm on Windows, so I'm going to click on download for Windows, and then I'm going to click on download for Windows. The NIMVPN.exe file for Windows will then be downloaded. Now I'm on the Google Chrome browser, but all browsers will be similar. I'm just going to navigate to the top right hand corner and click on downloads. In your recent download history, look for the NIMVPN.exe file and click on it to open it. If you're on Windows like myself, you'll be greeted with the user account control. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? You have the option to click on no or yes. Of course, if you want to proceed with the installation of NIMVPN, you'll need to click on yes. The NIMVPN setup wizard will then open, click on next, choose a destination folder if you want. I'm going to leave it as default here and then I'm going to click on next and NIMVPN will then begin installing. And as you can see, it's now complete. I'm just going to click on next and I'm going to leave the box check mark to run NIMVPN and create a desktop shortcut and I'm going to click on finish. Okay, and if we look to the bottom of our taskbar, you can see the NIMVPN client has now started. As soon as you open the client, click on continue and you'll be taken to NIMVPN's main connection interface. However, you haven't logged into your NIMVPN account yet on the client, so you'll need to do that first before you can connect to any of NIMVPN's servers. To do this, navigate to the top right hand corner of the NIMVPN client and click on the cogwheel icon. Once you've done that, click on connect device. You'll need to paste in your 24 word NIMVPN access code into this text box. So I'm going to open up my text document that I saved NIMVPN in. It's already highlighted, so I'm just going to right click and copy it. And then I'm going to press Ctrl plus V on my keyboard to paste in the access access code. And then I'm going to click on next. Okay, so my Windows device has been successfully added. Now what we'll need to do is to select mode. So if you click on this eye icon here for information, you can see the difference between the two modes. So you've got fast mode and anonymous mode. The fast mode uses WireGuard, and actually the current version of WireGuard it uses is Amnesia WG, and the anonymous mode uses the MixNet, which is perfect for securely handling payments, emails, and messages. So if you want more anonymity and privacy, then it is advised to go with the anonymous MixNet. You can click on continue reading here to open up another window to get more information about these two modes. I'm just going to click on OK. So the mode that I'm going to select first is the anonymous MixNet. So I'm going to click on that to select it. Next, we'll need to choose our servers. So NIMVPN allows you to choose your entry server or entry location and your exit location or exit server. By default, when I open up the client, it's set to Switzerland and the exit location is also set to Switzerland. Now, if you click on this drop down arrow to select the entry location, you can see you've got access to a bunch of countries that you can select and you can even search in this text box for the country that you want. Now, you can keep the entry and exit locations the same if you want, but if you want more privacy and anonymity, it's better to go with two different locations. Locations. But of course, your IP address will be masked based off the exit location. So for the entry, I'm going to go with Germany here. So I'm going to click on Germany. You can see it's got 14 servers. You can click on the drop down arrow next to the country to see all the servers, but I'm just going to go with a random one. I'm going to leave the exit location of Switzerland and I'm going to click on connect to connect to NIMVPN's MixNet. Now I'm just going to give it some time to connect. And there we go, we're now connected. What I'm going to do now is go back to my browser and I'm going to go to my other tab here, which is whatismyipaddress.com. And I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard. This site will then show us our current IP address, which should be an IP address in Switzerland, as that is the exit location we selected. And as you can see, our IPv4 address is this, and the location is in Switzerland and Zurich. So NIMVPN and the NIMVPN connection method of MixNet is working correctly. I'm just going to open back up the NIMVPN client now, and I'm going to click on disconnect to disconnect from the MixNet. I'll just give it some time now for it to disconnect. And there we go, we have disconnected from the MixNet. Now let's test out the fast WireGuard connection, which is best for browsing, streaming, and sharing. So I'm going to click on the fast WireGuard connection now. Let's keep the entry location as Germany, but this time for the exit location, I'm going to change this to Finland. So let me just try and find Finland from the list here. There we go, there's Finland. And instead of just clicking on Finland, let's click on this arrow next to Finland and pick a server. Now I'm going to roll with this one right here. Once you've selected your exit location, remember that the exit location will be the IP address that you appear to have because it masks your IP address to that location.
location. Once you've selected your exit location, click on connect. The NIM VPN client will then begin connecting and it will start off by initializing. I'll give it a few seconds here and it should connect. And there we go, we are now connected. And again, open up your browser, navigate to whatismyipaddress.com, hit enter on your keyboard, and then you should see your new masked IP address, which in my case is this one right here. And the location is in Helsinki, Finland. And of course, to the right hand side here, you can see exactly where your location is on the map. Okay, so that pretty much covers selecting a mode and showing you exactly how to connect using the NIM VPN client. I'm just going to click on disconnect now to disconnect from the fast wireguard mode. And before I end the video, I'm just going to show you a couple of settings that you can see in the NIM VPN client. So if I click on the cogwheel again to the top right hand corner, you can see you've got support and feedback here. You've got logs, you've got anonymous error reports, which you can toggle on if you want. I have that toggled off. You can auto start NIM VPN whenever you turn on your device if you want. You've got a kill switch here, appearance where you can change your language and the theme of NIM VPN if you want to use dark or light mode. You can toggle on notifications if you want. You've got legal and you can log out or quit NIM VPN. And at the very bottom, you can see the app version, the daemon, the network, your personal account ID and the device ID. Okay, so that covers everything about NIM VPN. And we'll end the video here. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to get, download, install and use NIM VPN and anonymous decentralized VPN, DVPN MixNet. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so